Shalom again, brethren. I'm sharing another lesson study with you on the Ruach HaKodesh. In English, we know it as the Holy Spirit. The Ruach HaKodesh is the set-apart spirit of Yahuwah. So this lesson study begins with Matthew's chapter 16, verses 24. Yahushua said, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. This means that we have to die to self. He also said, Take up his cross. This cross is Yahushua's victory. And he continues to say, and follow me. So we see here that we have to deny ourselves, deny our abilities, deny our efforts. Because it's now the new man in Yahushua. When we deny ourselves... It simply means it is no longer up to us. It is no longer dependent upon us. We read in John chapter 15, verse 1 to verse 8. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine. Ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. In John chapter 3, verse 5 to verse 8, we read what Yahushua says, to Nicodemus. Yahushua answered, Verily, verily, or truly, truly, or surely, surely, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Ruach, he cannot enter into the kingdom of Elohim. That which is born of the flesh is fleshy, and that which is born of the Ruach is Ruach. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Ruach. We also read in John. Chapter 6, verse 63, it says, It is the Ruach that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are Ruach, and they are life. When we read also in John, chapter 14, verses 16, verse 18, and verse 26, we recognize that the Ruach is also identified as the Kaf.
comforter. This is what Yahushua said in John 14, verse 16. And I will pray the Abba, or the Father. And he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Ruach of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. Verse 18 reads, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. When we go down to verse 26, we can see that Yahushua says, But the Comforter, which is the Ruach HaKadosh, or in English, the Holy Spirit, whom Abba, our Father, will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. When we read in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 17 to verse 21, it reads as thus, And it shall come to pass in the last days, save Elohim, I will pour out my spirit, my ruach, upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants, and on my handmaids, maidens, I will pour out in those days of my Ruach, and they shall prophesy. And I will shew wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The, th the sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before that great and notable day of Yahuwah comes. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of Yahuwah shall be saved. Again, I just want to reiterate St. John chapter 6, verses 63, as it clearly states, that the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, the set-apart spirit, it is He that shall teach us all things. So here we see Paul speaking to the Romans in Romans chapter 8, and he says, So then they that are in the flesh cannot please Elohim. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Ruach. If so be that the Ruach of Elohim dwelleth in you. Now if any man have not the Ruach of Hamashiach, he is none of his. We also read here in Romans chapter 8, verse 14 to verse 16. It says, For as many as are led by the Ruach HaKadosh of Elohim. They are the sons of Elohim. For ye have not received the Ruach of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the Ruach of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. The Ruach itself beareth witness with our Ruach that we are the children of Elohim. When we read a little further down on in Romans chapter 8, in particular verses 26 and 27, it says, Likewise, the Ruach also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Ruach itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the heart knoweth what is in the mind of the Ruach, 
because he may give intercession for the saints according to the will of Elohim. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 to verse 11, this is what we learn. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor a heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which Elohim have prepared for them that love him. But Elohim hath revealed them unto, unto us by his Ruach. For the Ruach searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of Elohim. It goes on to say, For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the Ruach of man which is in him? Even so the things of Elohim knoweth no man but the Ruach of Elohim. 1 Corinthians 3.16 says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of Elohim, and that the Ruach of Elohim dwelleth in you? When we therefore read 1 Corinthians chapter 12, it gives you the description of the gifts that are given to us. These gifts are spiritual gifts. And we're not to be ignorant of these gifts. When we therefore also read Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 to verses 26, it again reiterates the fruit of the rock, the fruit of the Spirit. But if we would take a step back into the Tanakh, into the book of Psalms, Psalms 139, verse 37, it says, Whither shall I go from thy ruach, or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in in the uttermost parts of the sea. Even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. Verse 11, it says, If I say, Surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. So as we read Galatians chapter 3 and 3, it says, are ye so foolish? This is what Paul was asking the Galatians. Are ye so foolish, having begun in the rock? Are ye now made perfect by the flesh? So this is the question that Paul had asked the Galatians. But then when we go on to read in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13, this is what he said to the Ephesians. In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that holy rock of promise. So, we would have heard this word, and we would have accepted this word, and that's where we were sealed. We were sealed with the Ruach HaKadosh. Let us not become bewitched and let us not allow anyone or anything to turn us away from Yahuwah's Ruach, from its guidance, and from its promptings. As it is mentioned to the Thessalonians in 1 Thessalonians 5.19, it says, quench not the Ruach. We must therefore understand that these scriptures present the way for us to bring ourselves into alignment with Yahuwah through his Ruach, his set-apart spirit, guiding us and teaching us all truth. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 reads, 
Therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. If you are truly walking according to how Yahushua left and set the example, you are no longer that old person that you were. You cannot be that old person that you were. The word of Yahuwah is truth. It does not lie. As Paul would have stated boldly and clearly to the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 16, he said, What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two, saith he, shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto Yahushua is one Ruach. So we're not living from the exterior. We're living from the interior. That spirit man, that Ruach man that has been embedded and that continues to grow and kindle righteousness within you, that is the man that comes out from without, from within you. The new man, the new person, rules over your mind and your body in newness of life. So commit, submit, subject, Yield your whole spirit unto Yahuwah to be one with him and Yahushua. This being done brings you into alignment with Yahuwah. Then ask Yahuwah to let his Ruach HaKadosh lead your life. The Ruach Hakadesh is the one that causes you to hear Yahuwah's voice, to see visions, and it will speak to you by His Word. This will help you to be very aware of Yahuwah's presence with you always, not by feelings. But by faith, knowing he is with you. When we declare that the old mind is dead, we have the mind of Yahushua, the new man. When we read in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, it reads as such. Paul said to the Romans, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Elohim, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahuwah, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahuwah? For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as Yahuwah have dealt to every man, the measure of faith. This then is the transformed mind you should now have. Live in your new state of mind in Yahushua. Declare and present your mind unto Yahuwah every day. Even if you are working, you're walking. 
you're laying in your bed, if you are exercising, whatever your ordeal is, you present yourself. Galatians chapter 4 verse 8 says, Whatsoever things, think on these things. Practice to think Yahuwah's way. We also read in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 3 to verse 6. It says, casting down imaginations. Literally casting down imaginations. This is what we have to do. We have to cast down doubt. Fear, unbelief, and even fantasies. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3. It reads, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahuwah to the pulling down of strongholds casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of Yahuwah and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahushua HaMashiach and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. When we read about how to subject our bodies, Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 27, Now ye are the body of Yahushua, and members in particular. Remember that in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 15, it says, Know ye not that your bodies are members of Yahushua? Ye are the temple of of Yahushua. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verses 16 to verse 17. He says what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 to verse 20. This is the application therefore. We submit ourselves by presenting our bodies every day as a living sacrifice unto Yahuwah. Declare your body dead to sin, but alive unto Yahuwah through Yahushua HaMashiach. Do this every day, brethren. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves, whomsoever you yield yourselves to, it is him that you obey. Look at the world and those that dwell in the world. Are they not submissive to the world? Have they not yielded themselves to the world? Look at the end result then. Of them that yield themselves to the world. Be consciously, willingly submissive to the Ruach HaKadosh. Brethren, let us not be one of those that Yahushua turns to and say, Why call me Lord, Lord? I hope that this lesson study that is shared brings some clarity as to how we understand Yahuwah's Ruach HaKadosh and how we may apply it to our lives presently. As usual, if there are any comments, any corrections, Make your notes in the YouTube comment section or email me or WhatsApp me. Shalom, brethren.